Ah, well, hello guys. This is Boots, as you know. And tonight, I have prepared for you a beautiful turtle soup. <laughs> this back together. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Uh, again, my name is Boots. I'm normally reading the tarot for you girls. And tonight, during this mukbang, we're actually going to have a conversation about something I posted yesterday. Uh, but today, matter of fact, just go. Uh, but today, what I decided to do was try something I've never tried, uh, that being turtle. And as you can see by the clip previously, I fried it up just like you would any type of fried chicken or chicken nugget or something like this, uh, except for I boiled it in a, you saw the video, I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to dive in for you. I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating, but I'm really going to enjoy this. And then we're going to talk about Dahmer. Let's talk about it. But first, this is fried turtle. First time I've tasted the completed version of it. I'll go ahead and throw this spoon in this and I will give you the best views that you can get. So it looks like this. This is a sauce that I've created. Okay. Um, and I ain't telling you what's in it, but it's good. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to swirl this around in here. And I will tell you exactly how it is right now. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Just like that lady talking about those dollar bills she was collecting at the Usher's board at church. I love that new sound effect on the show. Mm. Okay, so Frog Legs has a taste. I can somewhat get that, but the texture is more steakish. Um, the seasoning is, oh, meat, bitch. That shit's lit. It's a sweeter meat, though. Okay, um, so don't think like, you know how chicken you have to make sweet, steak you have to add a little bourbon or whatever you're going to put on there. This is like a naturally sweet meat. It's giving me a seafood vibe, but it's also giving me a more of a poultry type of texture as I chew it. And it might be psychosemantic because, you know, it looks like chicken nuggets. So in my mind, I might be just perceiving chicken, uh, but it's so tender. Mmm. It was a good idea to put that cornmeal with that breader. Cause the texture is like melting in my mouth. Mm. Like I wish a dick would melt in my mouth. Let me tell y'all something about me. Mm. Y'all know I love lust. Mm. I have a spirit of lust on me. Okay. Mm. I ain't had sex in five weeks. Mm. That should be against the law for me. Oh, and what I'm doing right now is I'm making a Boots Palmer. Mm -hmm. Unrelated to Kiki Palmer. Uh, here's a preview of the drink. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is a decadent drink. I love this shit. It's very refreshing. It reminds me of one of those Starbucks refreshers. And I'm the type of bitch that I actually look up a recipe to do this. And that's exactly what I did to prepare this food today. I created a turtle stew or a turtle soup, if you will. Turtle brew. How about that? You know, we're bitches. Um, I made a turtle brew. And that fried turtle. Let's go ahead and taste the turtle brew real quick. And you can literally see the turtle in here. It's beautiful. Um, and as you can see, I put every favorite vegetable. As you guys can tell, I'm a little scared to eat it. That's why I'm stalling. Um, but let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, you got it. You got to see the bite. Oh my God, it looks good, right? Okay, one, two, down the hatch. Mmm. I like that better. Mmm. Oh! 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 oh. Mm. Yo, that's so good. Oh my God. This actually brings out the sweetness in the in the turtle a little bit more. And as you guys know, I like to put jalapenos in my food. So the jalapeno spice is absolutely fabulous on this. Uh, there's sweet onions. Everything is great. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 
Mmm. That is good. The texture of meat is fabulous. And this, I wish I could get open. Um, I might see if I can dig some of the meat out of it, though. Ooh, let's actually see if we can do that. Uh, my mother had trouble opening this motherfucker, and I see why. This bitch is really, you know, aggravating. But I want it. You know, and I can see it in there. It's like you're taunting me. Get your black ass out of here. Oh, there go a little bit. So here's a little bit of lobster. Oh my God. Oh my God. I want you to open. I don't want to bite you though. I want to smash you. But we're not going to do that right now. Let's be civilized, honey. You know, we got white people watching. <laughs> it's a turn of phrase. Please don't take offense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it breaks apart. So you can see. You see that? Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God, you saw that? Look, look, look. That's what you want. Can you come over here? Mm. And I thought when it broke apart like that, that it was some cat hair, so I got kind of paranoid. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 We double dipping over here. Get you a good old healthy bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's really good. Mmm. And you know, I had to ask Spirit, why is it that I like, you know, exquisite taste and decadent food? I'm just different. I've always been that way. I like eel. I like octopus. I like to try things um, that are well prepared, of course. But, you know, I wouldn't eat shit on a barbie or anything like that. Or if I had to eat cow balls on Fear Factor, I would. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell, I eat chitterlings. I'm the only one in my family eat that. Mm. I just have an interesting palate. I will try anything. Mm. Especially delicacies. Like caviar, that's a delicacy. But I don't like caviar. Mm. I mean, what the hell are you putting fish eggs on shit for? Let them eggs hatch and just cook the fish. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But if that's how bougie people do, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. We, 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 we. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. You see how my pinky automatically went up? That's how you know shit be good. Mm. 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 what this is i don't know what it is <laughs> um it looks like the spine of the tail down the hatch i wonder what would happen if i dipped it in the soup let's see okay here go a soup here go a soup and fried combo mm. I hope this shit edible. It tastes like a spider. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yeah, I know. I was researching turtle. And you know what's, what's um I find to be very interesting. Mm. The fact that we've been eating turtle for thousands and thousands of years, right? But y'all saw how hard it was for me to prepare this shit, right? Mm. Y'all know chitterlings are the intestines of pigs, right? Y'all know we found out a way to prepare this food even before modern civilization, right? Humanity is quite brilliant. It's quite brilliant. I mean, you have to crack open the shell of the turtle and then get out the meat and then you have to see what kind of meat is good. Who told you how to do that way back in the day? 
You know, that's just what I want to know. Mmm. Mmm. A girl be eating anything. Who knows? But when I went to Spirit and I asked Spirit why my palate is like the way it's set up, mm, it showed me a vision of me being by a river and catching crawfish out of net. Like I was catching food out of net. I had feathers in my hair and ironically, I just had feathers in my hair on the last show. Mm, and I'm, I just bought a whole bunch of feathers to put in my hair. And doesn't my hair look cute? It curled up just right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, it showed me like a wild woman type of energy. And uh, bitch, I remember throwing a bat in the pot. I mean, it was just, I, I, I think I was really good at, you know, making do in this in that life or whatever I perceived. I was really good at making do. And I, I did the damn thing. Mm. Mm. Just like I did now. Mm. Mm. And I think subconsciously, my spirit is drawn to uniqueness in food. I think I'm drawn to uniqueness in food because I'm unique. And again, if you watched the mukbang previously, mm, nobody stood up here and taught me. I just learned as I go. And I love watching MasterChef. I've watched every season of MasterChef. And that's one of those shows where <coughs> you end up watching every episode and don't realize you don't watch every episode. Now, American Horror Story, I religiously watch every episode. Mm. But what I suggest you guys don't watch is that Dahmer. Let me tell you why. We're going to talk about it real quick while I take a break from eating. So, basically, it came out with the, the 21st of September, I do believe. And one of my best friends, his name is Ramus. You know, he came down here. We went to go see Jasmine Sullivan together. And it came out, and we always watch things together. That's how we kind of stay connected as friends or whatnot. And I was like, Dahmer, Dahmer. And the first thing that we realized was I couldn't find it on my Netflix. So that was my first sign to make me think of like, okay, maybe I'm being protected from watching this. So I couldn't find it. And so then I finally located it on the TV upstairs, the new TV I bought. And I still can't locate it down here on the Netflix downstairs. So I'm in the beach room. I put it on and I go to sleep. That's the first thing I do. I went to sleep on it last night. It got up to episode six when I woke up. And, um... I basically tried to go back to episode one, but I always found myself getting distracted. Now, I'm the type of individual that pays attention, extra attention to details in my reality, and I recognize that I wasn't able to focus on the programming without intention. Normally, I can put on a show and be on in the background, and I'm still quietly paying attention to it. Bitch, I was everywhere. I was OCD cleaning my house, and y'all know I don't clean. So, for me, that was just like the first whiff of sign that I got that I could have felt like something was going on. So, today, as I'm waiting on the crawfish to get here, which did not arrive on time, but I still prepared a beautiful turtle supper for you guys. I turned it on and I watched the first episode and it is a huge ritual, okay? And I am gonna answer some of the questions that you guys have been talking about on my Instagram page, but it's a huge ritual down to the satanic Bible on the dresser, down to the programming that he was watching that was a mock exorcism on the television screen. Um, not to mention the smell and they never told you what it smelled like, but what I smelled when they were talking about that was sulfur and that's a sign of demonic activity. Um, if you look at some of the symbolism like the badge on the police officers. It was a head of Bafome on that badge. I'm really good at clocking signs and programming. Um, so I got past episode when I had to ask myself, well, what is the intention behind this? And for me, it was desensitizing people to serial killing, desensitizing people to mass murder, desensitizing people to, and or slightly normalizing the mindset required to commit such acts. Now, you can you can barter the point, well, you know, it's documentary style programming X, Y, and Z. Yeah, but they're purposely including some satanic references that aren't consciously elicited in the programming. That lets you know that they're playing with the back of your mind, not the forefront of your mind. The second episode comes on as I am dethawing the turtle and you guys saw on the me preparing the food that I was doing there. It came on and it's a flashback scene to him as a child. When he was on that bus, there is this scene where his eyes light up in fire. It's like a glare on his glasses. In that glare, I saw an old, um, let's just say business partner by the name of Beelzebub. He is a demonic presence that capitalizes upon the exploitation of what is considered wrong in your reality. Murder, kidnapping, X, Y, and Z. This was not, and don't don't think of me as demonic. Honey, I talked to everybody. I just talked to Archangel Raphael yesterday. So I am a deity in my own right. I will address higher beings and lower beings and see what they talking about we just had a conversation about satan the other day did we not and that's not my that's not my that's not my cup of tea not at all 
Okay, um, I say that to say this. I'm a deity in my own right, so it's camaraderie. Uh, but I don't have to agree with their methodology. The same way I can cut off a friend, I can cut off a deity in my reality. And I haven't really consulted with Bells Above since... I think it was America's Got Talent because I was reaching out to any deity to get me to the next level. And the deity that I chose to work with, I couldn't fulfill that arrangement. And we ended up getting kicked off of the show. I'm being real transparent with you guys. However, you know, the Holy Ghost still comes in and shot ups in my bone every time I, every chance that they get. So I want you guys to put it in perspective. I am an oracle. I believe in above and below uh, as long as you come right. For example, look at the movie Constantine, the black guy in Constantine. That's me. Okay. You know, if you want to give me money for a reading while I'm talking about Constantine, that is on gal. And the tip jar is open for you guys as of right now. So episode two comes on and I see it in my psychic eye. I do not turn it off. I keep watching it in the background. And then I just got bored and put on the Justice League. I mean, so for me, I don't know if that's a level of protection, but I do know that me as a reader, I just wanted to tell everybody, do not watch it. You're not... Or the masses are not consciously aware of the subliminal cues that go on in your mind when you watch certain things. Symbols and signs run our reality and they're riddled in this programming subliminally so because it's triggering to the back of your mind. Now in the forefront of the consciousness of the movie, it's talking about a serial killer. It's talking about murder. And if I am to give any compliment, it is produced very, very well. Evan Peters, he plays every type of traumatized motherfucker from a Donald Trump enthusiast to somebody got, got them got them ducked by aliens, bitch. Evan and Peters, that's his role. That's what he does. Um, but I do fear for the actors that do portray this. But hey, let's be clear. Most people in entertainment are puppets anyway. Well, am I getting too deep for you? <laughs> am I getting too deep for you? I suggest you look up Project MK Ultra. They have alter egos. And when they try to break their programming, Britney Spears. When they try to do something on their own, Bill Cosby. When they try to actually advance from where they are currently out of the control that you have on them, Wendy Williams. It's a pattern, people. Okay, so you might be asking the question, well, who wins if we have more serial killers out here? There is control out of chaos. Who wins? Who's been winning? You know who's been winning. <laughs> okay, and you got to think to yourself, are they conscious of what they're doing? Why else would they put these subliminal symbols that the common man can't see in a movie? This is why I warned you, do not watch it. Okay, however, I'll say that to say this, my people, you ain't got not a piss to worry about. Okay, if you attuned yourself to my energy, and what I mean by that is if you've watched me one time, two times, or you put stock in anything that I'm saying, if you're a believer in the receipts that I have uh, displayed to you and the resume that I slated on last show, you're good. Why are you good? Because all of my people I pray for and all of my people are protected by the energy and the magic that I cast on a consistent basis, whether you know or do not know, that's what I do. That's me. That's me. <laughs> okay, and you don't got to send me money to do it because I'm a deity that genuinely cares about people. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, this motherfucker crazy just like Jeffrey Dahmer. He's talking about he a deity and all this other stuff. Look at me. Then look at you. <laughs> if you're a believer, let's go, boo. I got you. I just don't want you to expose yourself to energy that you're not prepared for. But regardless, I got you. Okay, I say that to say this. Just really... <coughs> There was a girl, excuse me, who asked me a question. And she said, how do you know if some programming is demonic or not? Your intuition should let you know. But it would take a gifted person to elicit this information to you. And I'm giving it to you for free. Take with it what you want. There was some more people that are talking about some. There um, are demonic signs and symbols in everything we do. You're correct. But also, why subjugate yourself to something with such intensity dealing with a hierarchy demon by the name of Beelzebub? Why would you, why would you willingly do this? Okay, so I'm not talking to you. Okay, <laughs> okay, you don't want to learn. You don't want to listen, honey. You don't want to do it. You want to watch it. You want your you want the subconscious part of your mind to be activated in a way where you feel the need to run up on somebody and actually kill them. The thing about it is, we all have grimacing thoughts. We all have thoughts that will be considered by the Christian community as sin. Have you ever thought? Did you really want to kill somebody? Have you ever thought about doing something that goes completely against the morality of what is right and what is wrong? This is what makes you a genuine and just individual because you can see, oh my God, this don't feel right. Oh my God, this don't feel right. Oh my God, killing somebody don't feel right. Something comes into place with these psychopaths, whether it is programming to execute certain tasks and pass it off as an accident to distract people from looking at something else. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 wait. I think I might be getting too deep. I think I might be getting too deep. Point is, 
Why would you subjugate yourself to a demonic presence if you don't have to? For entertainment purposes? You really want to be entertained that bad that you're going to you're gonna subconsciously lift it? So, going back to what I was saying. Right and wrong. Beelzebub is a demon who laughs at what's wrong. And I'm not saying you're going to wake up and be a murderer. But you might wake up and have some thoughts that you ain't never thought you had. And if you're not a strong-minded individual... <laughs> I'm very affordable. <laughs> I'm very affordable. Mm. We'll work that on out of you. Mm. But I'm warning you. Why why subjugate yourself? Now some of y'all gonna watch it just because curiosity killed a cat. And Netflix, I'm gonna need my check for that promo. Bet. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. This turtle is good. Mmm. I don't know, man. So, look. I say this with the earnestness. That I have to say this. Watch it at your own peril. Okay? If you're protected, like a lot of people in my comment section say that they're protected, they're good, they're strong, they can watch it, then you good. I was saying this in general for the weak, feeble-minded people. That's not us, though. We're not that. <laughs> okay? But it's going to be interesting. Because I foresee, in my intuitive mind, within a year, murders, school shootings, all this stuff is going to double. And you got to ask yourself, why? Well, it's going to double because of propaganda like this. That's why it's going to double, baby. It's going gonna, it's gonna to double because children who have access to Netflix are going to be desensitized to what's right and what's wrong. COVID didn't desensitize. COVID didn't decrease the population. But people still dying. But they dying by other people's hands. How is that possible? When little Sally knows that you don't pick up a gun and go to school. What activates in them? Beings that you can't see. But I can. Mmm. Mmm. Baby, that turtle is good. I don't give a damn what you say. That motherfucker shit is fine. Mm. 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 I'm done talking about that. Mm. I'm gonna sit here and eat my food. Mm. Mm. The biggest question is just why? Why? And when you can answer that, you'd be on my level. Understanding. Mm. And not being on autopilot. Try it sometime. Mm. Mm. I'm full. Mm. I need y'all to see this sauce. Mm. Mm. I think I'm full. You know when you done cooked all day? <laughs> and it's time to eat and it be hungry no more. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Mm. But I'm currently on break. That's why I didn't put on no face for this video. I don't really know how to take a break for real. As you can see, content is still flowing like don't go chasing waterfalls, bitch. Mm. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I love what I do, man. But I got to focus on other things because it's bigger projects coming like music, music videos. And this is not more than a sweet onion. It gets everywhere, but the flavor is really good. Mm. I don't like to eat it with stuff. Mm. But the flavor is really good. Mm. Anyway. Mm. I'm on break. I'm chilling. But I'm still going to do shows. I'm just not on a consistent schedule. And it's so much happening. I got to go to LA next week. Mm. We're shooting a music video. My album's out on Halloween. It's a lot happening, man. Mukbangs are good. The season, the fall finale of uh, season one is great. Producing the tarot deck for you guys. Boots Camp preview is awesome. I'm dropping it on Monday. And um, stay tuned for 
a really, really good Sunday inspiration. Okay, coming to my YouTube at 9 o'clock p.m. And I'll post a little something, something on my other social media too. But it's right here on YouTube where you get the exclusive content, the befores, the afters, all of that. Um, we're polishing it up for you right now. And on Monday, you guys get a preview of Boots TV. Here, this is what's left over. So I'll probably eat this tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Um, and we have a whole thing of soup in here. This is like a lot of fucking soup. But it's good though. Okay. I actually want one more bite of this. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, just, you know, watch Dom at your own peril. I'm going to eat this at my prevail. Mm. Mm. And I love you. Later. Mm. Damn, my fat ass.